Produce Geek's Guide to Sweet Potatoes. Hey, let's talk sweets. Hi, it's John with ProduceGeek.com, and there are many varieties of sweet potatoes. Did you know that? And also, what we have commonly called a yam here in the United States, which would be like your orange flesh uh, sweet potato, it's technically not a yam. Yams are a very large tuber uh, native to Africa, often grown in the Caribbean, other parts of the world. But what we buy at the supermarket is technically not yams. It's just hard to stop calling them that. What we're calling sweet potatoes are literally um, different varieties of tubers that are very sweet in taste. So let's get started on talking about some of the most popular varieties. Fall is the best time of the year to enjoy fresh sweet potatoes, by the way. North Carolina, Louisiana, California, the major growing areas of the country have finished their harvest in uh, the end of summer and early fall, and then the product has had a chance to set, which means the skins um, get firm, and these can be stored then the rest of the year round and enjoyed. I love sweet potatoes, and let's get started on the different varieties. First, this is a Covington sweet, very similar to a Beauregard. The Covington sweet and Beauregard are super common in Louisiana and North Carolina, two big eastern and southern uh, sweet potato growing states. They're an all-purpose sweet potato. They kind of have a tan brownish skin and an orange flesh. And when I cook, cook this up, this uh, cooked for about 85 minutes at 350 degrees, just sitting in my oven. Mmm. The flesh almost even started to, there's so much sugar in there, I almost started to show some caramelization in there. Mmm, that would be perfect for boiling and whipping. Mmm. Really good all-purpose sweet potato. That's what we're going to be using for our Thanksgiving recipes. Next one. This one is called an Oriental Sweet or Japanese Sweet. Um, this is uh, organically grown in California, and they are a purple skin, white flesh. Purple skin, white flesh. Flesh tends to uh, be a little drier in texture, uh, much, more, much drier than the one I just tasted. When they cook up, you get that... Um, off-white color, more, more yellow. Um, I really like this for grilling. I like it for um, roasting and just cutting up into coins. Definitely has that drier texture and um, just a straightforward sugary um, taste. You don't get that uh, what you're that traditional. Um, sweet potato taste that you think of with canned yams like you get over here. Dry sweet. Next is one of the most popular organically grown varieties, the Garnet. They're also conventionally grown, but this is uh, very common to the West Coast, so this is from California. Garnets have a, you know, um, pink uh, to almost purple uh, skin, and it kind of has that range in between tones of uh, orange. Flesh is also orange, very sweet and um, all-purpose, but compared to the Covington sweets, this one, like when I cut that cooked one, uh, this uh, had more texture to it. So I would call it less sugary and moist than this, but still a great sweet potato. That one holds its shape. So if you have a recipe where you need to boil it or roast it and have it hold shape, Garnet is the ticket. Next one, Hannah Sweet. Yellow, or tan skin, yellow flesh. Very straightforward sweetness, common to the West Coast, California. Again, this one's organically grown in California. Take a little bite here. Very straightforward sweetness, a little earthiness underneath. That one would um, suit my grandma's fried sweet potato recipe really well, where she kind of par-baked them uh, with a yellow flesh sweet potato and then finished them off in a frying pan with brown butter just to get the caramelization golden. Um, There's a little bit of earthiness underneath that sweet taste. Really, really good yellow sweet potato. Next one is a jewel. This one has more of a tan or orange skin and orange flesh. Jewels are very similar to Garnet's. 
but I when I cut I can already tell it's a little softer than the garnet when texture another all-purpose boil mash smash roast bake all the different things you can do with a sweet potato hey the last one I want to talk about is a fairly new variety it's been on the market maybe five six seven years it's called the Stokes purple sweet potato this one has been organically grown in California purple skin purple flesh and my bake time these you know depends on the size right so I bake sweet potatoes at 350 degrees until I can get a fork to easily enter the flesh and pull out or a toothpick one or the other you don't want it to feel like you're kind of stuck in there at all it should just slide in and out um, then you know it's done but of all these this one took the longest so I had this uh, sorry this wrapped in foil at 350 degrees for just over two hours and uh, here is what I'm left with beautiful purple sweet potato full of phytonutrients and um, antioxidants let's see how it tastes tell it's a little waxy medium medium firmness A sweet and earthy taste. Um, this probably has the most kind of rich earthiness of all these, and it's probably the most waxy of all these, but it actually is a very pleasant taste. Um, this company has a recipe for a purple sweet potato pie that would really freak your family out at Thanksgiving because you can make sweet potato pie with that, but it's going to be like super purple. Anyway, I love sweet potatoes. And in fact, my favorite non-holiday sweet potato recipe is I would take any of these, especially the orange types, cut them into strips, uh, toss them with olive oil and taco seasoning, and roast them at 425 degrees for probably 30 minutes uh, until they get some nice caramelization. And I would make those taco sweet potato fries to watch the game on a Sunday afternoon. So anyway, for what's best, check back with us and... If you find something you like, share fruit with a friend and sweet potatoes.